guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is having a great day. Uh, been doing a lot of videos um, with not the Celica, and I know you guys like the Celica, so we're gonna get back onto it. Uh, I have my 2004 uh, Celica GTS Tsunami Edition, so it's a special car. Um, it's a six-speed manual, and it comes with the 2ZZ engine on it. Uh, the 2ZZ engines are kind of notorious for having a lift bolt issue. Um, sometimes they break and sometimes they don't. It just depends on which one you got. The later models like mine, they typically do not break, um, but it's good to replace them, I don't know, like maybe at like the 90,000 mile mark or something like that. Uh, reason why is because they kind of get worn on there and I'll show you guys how to replace them, what the old ones look like and what the new ones look like. So let's go ahead and jump over to the Celica and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is of course open up the engine bay so you can see the engine, the beautiful 2ZZ here uh, with VVTLI, that's what everyone loves. This right here, lift, beautiful thing. Um, and then here is the OEM lift bolt from Toyota. Uh, here is the part number, if you guys can see that right there. So, and then here is what the new ones look like. See, these are the after, the, the not aftermarket, but the later version of them. And they are more pointy and a different color. Uh, mine should have similar looking ones since this is a 2004. If yours is a pre-2003, um, it might look a little different when we pull them out. So first things first, we're gonna need an Allen wrench. So let's grab an Allen wrench and do Lefty Lucy on these four right now. Okay, now that you remove that, you wanna put those in a safe place. You don't wanna lose those bolts. Uh, this should come up and that looks like that. Uh, this is going to be your fuel rail right here. This, this kind of dusty thing is your fuel wheel. This uh, wire harness right here. It does come with this fun cushy pad here. Um, and I think that's to keep heat uh, where the injectors are. That being said, um, yeah, well, you're gonna have to undo these bolts here. So we're gonna go into that next. So uh, we're gonna set aside the Allen wrench, uh, your Allen key, your Allen wrench. Um, and we're gonna grab some 10 millimeters because we're gonna go to town with a 10 millimeter. The first set of four is a 10 millimeter there, 10 millimeter there, all the, all the spark um, coil packs, the spark plug coil packs. We're gonna do those first four, so let's do those first. Okay, once those are removed, the coil pack should be um, kind of free, able to move around. What you're gonna wanna do next is push on these, push down. You can do it with your fingers and wiggle, or you can do it with a pair of pliers. So I'm gonna grab a pair of pliers real quick here and uh, pull those. All right, all the coils are out, coil packs are out. You can see down there, beautiful, pristine coil packs, by the way. They look amazing. Uh, so now we're gonna do these 10 millimeters, all right here, 10 millimeter nut and a 10 millimeter nut to remove, um, and right here, a wire, a wire harness, the wire. All right, we're doing pretty good. Um, you're about a quarter of the way in. So now this is free kind of to move around. As you guys can see right here, that's free. Um, the next thing we're gonna go after is unclip these with your um, pliers. So you're gonna go and pull the, the vacuum lines out, the coolant, the, there we go, hold on one second here. There we go. We're gonna do uh, the pressure and then the return um, for the intake manifold. So we're gonna do those two so that this can come off because the real goal what we haven't really talked about is we're trying to just get underneath the valve cover. That's what we're trying to do, remove the valve. Okay, so we're looking good. So now it's time to attack the 10 millimeters all around the valve cover. So let's start doing that. Um, once you get all those off, you're also gonna to wanna to move right here, the 10 millimeter here and 10 millimeter here. And there is a bolt that you probably wanna undo so that you can have some leverage to move this, to wiggle this so that the valve cover, cause you only have, I mean, if this thing's pressed up against this and then you only have this much room, you don't really have that much room uh, to wiggle the valve cover off to get to the um, VVTLI bolts, the lift bolts that are right here. All right, uh, on my channel, I like to show you guys everything so it makes it easy for you if you get stuck. So everything's been pulled off except for one, and they're pretty easy. They're all just 10 millimeters that you just back out. Now there's one difficult one. So there's three on the back side. Look at this thing. So a long time ago, my camera will focus. I bought this right there, you guys see that? Swiggly thing. And it's a 10 millimeter with a little swiggly arm that goes up into that wrench and that's how you remove it. It's pretty, that's, it's a pain. You don't have to have that. Uh, if you have smaller hands, you can um, get back there by using a, um, one of these. Let me show you, where do I have it? This is a gear wrench. See that right there where it spins inside? There's a little gear, socket gear built inside of it. 10 millimeter, you can probably get by if you have small hands, you can get back there and do that. So the next thing you wanna do is put a little, there's a little, see that guys right there? There's one of the places right there. And you see the valve cover wants to come free now. Um, kind of wiggle a flathead screwdriver in there. Be careful though, because there is a seal and you don't want to puncture that seal. Um, now what you're gonna want to do is kind of push 
the valve cover back and up. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use two hands and I'll show you when it's all done. All right, just like that, pretty easy. Um, this car actually even came with an aftermarket little alarm right here and I was able to even pull it out from there. So it's, it's not a horribly tight fit. Now when you go to turbo these cars, that is a tight fit. That's where the turbo sits, dear goodness, it is. That is, it is so small. That's that's the reason that I don't recommend turboing a Celica right out the way. 100%, that's it. The MR2, it goes like engine, exhaust, nothing else. It goes straight into the atmosphere. It's so easy to work with. There's a crash bar that's like two feet away. This is not the same. Uh, the firewall is closer than the Evo. It is just insanely tight back there. Um, that is why I recommend, um, well, I don't disrecommend doing it, but it does make it difficult to turbo a car unless you have a lift. Um, inside of here though, it looks pretty attractive. Everything looks pretty fine to me. Nothing really uh, stand out. Um, I'm gonna look over the lobe, see if there's any wear or anything like that. Uh, here are the lift bolts, A and B, one and two. So um, let's go ahead and do Lefty Lucy on those two. Uh, and that's what we're gonna replace today. And I'll show you guys the day. Okay, so intake side, right there you guys see that. And uh, I would say it's pretty worn. You guys can see that little mark right there. And uh, it's, you can feel a, a deep groove. I mean, it's, it's been used. It's, um, I think this car is 90,000 miles on it. So uh, it's a good thing to replace them. Uh, and you can see it's the same style as the one that I have. The other ones have more of a rounded, uh, more of a rounded look. Okay, here's the exhaust side. You guys see that right there? So that's the exhaust lift bolt. Um, they're just colored oil, the oil color, that's fine. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually we're gonna do some VVTL at runs and then I will probably go buy an oil filter and change the oil on this as well um, after we hit some VVTL because I wanna show you guys the new power of lift. It'll hit harder, I promise it does hit harder. So we'll go ahead and grab the um, the new lift bolts and put those. As always, one of my favorite websites is Monkey Wrench Racing. So swing by Monkey Wrench Racing, they are always linked down below. Um, there's the new ones, look how beautiful those look. Very nice, very, very nice. Um, there is a little bit of sealer that you're gonna wanna do right here, and I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, other than that, uh, there should be no um, leaks anywhere. Uh, this is, there's a little, the way that the valve, um, timing chain valve cover and bolt, uh, head all go together, um, the way they want a little bit of sealant, and I think that sometimes people put it back here, back here as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and tighten these on. So I just use a little razor blade, see that right there? cut that off um, and then we have uh, black adhesive sealant we're gonna put a little dab do a little dab right there beautiful just like that we slip the valve cover back on um, this you know this is probably the hardest part right here is just to slip these in correctly there is a gasket do not forget to put that gasket in there otherwise you'll have oil leaks and then also you can see the gasket that we made that us we made right there um, so now we're gonna go and reverse a lot of steps um, this is a good time if you want to check your spark plugs or do an oil change. We will do those on future videos. Um, I just want to put the car back together now and go hit some lift. Uh, so let's go ahead and do Okay, so now as you're putting the bolts back on, um, I've done a lot. So I reattach the 10 millimeter here, 10 millimeter here for the, the um, wire harness. Uh, I've set the coil packs back in. These ones you can tighten in any order that you want. Now with this one, you want to do a... Um, Make sure all the bolts are threaded on equally. So you put the co the cover on and then you go around the whole um, valve cover, put them all on and then slightly kind of do finger tight. And then you want to do a tightening pattern. Um, and you can do it kind of like with your, uh, you would do with your wheels. So in a star. Um, so if you start over there, that far corner one, you might want to start right here on this one and then go back over to this one over here and then come back over to this back one here so on and so forth until you get to the middle um, that's how i do it and then you just make sure that it's tightened um i'll have to find out i'll put the specs below of what the um lift bolts need to be tightened at and what the valve cover uh bolts need to be tightened at so you guys can do that yourself if you have a little torque uh, electronic torque wrench or a torque wrench um to have the right specs torque down uh that being said i have all that on there um the only things that i really don't have is i mean i removed the old lift bolts um it is a little bit of a dirty job not, not that bad uh, uh the only thing i need to do is now put the the uh, ventilation hose uh, back on that goes in the intake manifold, the PVC, the pressure control valve one in the back, and then put the VVTLI cover back on. So let's go ahead and do that. 
I do recommend spreading a little, uh, spreading a little bit of cleaner. So I'm gonna clean up the whole um, valve cover to make it look all pretty uh, before I put the VVTL on. So let's do that. Oh, swing by my website, of course. Grab one of your microfibers right here that says Mitch Jure right there. Check those out, guys. Uh, swing by, grab one of those. Uh, appreciate the support every time you guys buy one of those. Um, let's go ahead and wipe this all down, put that cover back on, go hit lift. Hope you guys enjoyed those flybys uh, with uh, prototype Mandalorian Boba Fett helmet. That's hilarious. Uh, car looks really, really good. I love what I've done to it so far. I might actually have a new set of wheels. I might do a different set of wheels again. Um, but I wanted to show you guys this. That's just pretty much really easy. Uh, no oil leaks or anything. Um, 2ZZ looks really healthy, really good. That is how you change your lift uh, bolts. Very simple. Uh, you can do this. If you get stuck, comment down below and I'll help you. But uh, yeah, the Celica seems super fast right now, really fast. Uh, this car is in really good condition. Uh, this is a special car and I really, really love it. Um, that being said, make sure to hit the like button, guys. I hope this is helpful. Any comments down below or any questions, comment down below and I'll see you guys on the next video.